I could pray for a person and say, in the name of Jesus, right now, sickness, disease, go now in Jesus' name. Be healed, right? Now, I say that. Then they call me tomorrow and they go, symptoms got worse. And, and it's funny because when they tell me that, a lot of, that happens probably 40% of the time, maybe, something like that, that the, the symptoms have actually increase. And I say, okay, well, great. And they're like, well, no, what? not great. No, not great. Symptoms increase. Maybe you didn't hear me, right? I'm like, no, no, look. Not, th this has been the same for this long, and I prayed, and now all of a sudden they spike. That, that should tell you that we hit something. Amen. Something's different. In other words, we stirred something up, which means we had an effect. And if we can stir it up and make it move, we can make it move out. Okay. Amen? So many times when I hear that, I say, okay, then here we do. And so now I don't pray again in the sense of whatever I'm saying. That Now I start, so whatever I'm saying, I have to be able to say consistently. Do you understand? Because I can't say different than what I said yesterday or I'm neg neg uh, nullifying, get the right word, uh, nullifying, I was going to say negating, that's the word I was trying to say. I almost said neglecting, but that's not it either. Negating, <laughs> negating, nullifying uh, what I said before. So now I have to, so when I pray, I have to pray, okay, because according to God's word, nothing's going to change. Right. right? According to God's word. Yeah. Now, according to your body, something's going to change. In your body, if you look at God's word, it's going to say the same thing. If you look at your body, we expect it to say something different. That makes sense? So we have to speak in a way that is always in agreement with God's word. Amen. Right? So if we're going to speak in agreement with God's word, then I have to say, by his stripes, you were healed in Jesus' name. Now, the next day, guess what? I can come back and say, by his stripes, you were healed in Jesus' name. And I'm not nullifying or negating what I said before. I'm still agreeing with what I said before. Is that right? You understand that? So I can say the same thing, but, and I'm, but I'm saying it today. But now, understand, we've already, we've already done Mark eleven twenty three. 23. We've already believed that we received. We did that the first time, right? Hopefully, when I minister to you and I speak to you and I command healing, hopefully, at the same time, you're agreeing, which brings in the power of the prayer of agreement, which is also, he said, if any two... Uh, agree is touching anything or concerning anything, it shall be done. So we already got that going for us because we're going to agree. What are we agreeing? That you're going to be healed? No. If you're agreeing you're going to be healed or if you're saying you're going to be healed, see, I'm not saying you're going to be healed. I'm agreeing by his stripes you were healed. Yeah. So if we have the power of agreement, we both have to agree that by his stripes you were healed. Because I'm not going to agree he's going to heal you because there's nothing the Bible says he's going to. His, the Bible does not say he's going to heal you. The Bible says he has. He has released healing, right? But we still have to receive it or enforce it. For yourself, you have to receive it. If we're ministering to somebody else, we have to enforce it. 